This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, be encouraged and look for the teachable moments that are all around us. Enjoy. Close your eyes and focus on God. Picture him as your shepherd that knows you, cares for you, and loves you. Picture yourself as one of his sheep looking to him for provision, protection, and peace. Know he can give you everything you need to find rest tonight. Just breathe in and out and surrender to him. In this sweet surrender, lift today's worries and anxieties to him. Feel him take the weight off your shoulders. Feel your body soften at his touch. Breathe in and breathe out. In the Bible, a shepherd was responsible for providing, guiding, and protecting their sheep. Just like a good shepherd, we can rest assured that the Lord will give us provision, guidance, and protection tonight as we sleep. Psalms for Meditation We hear so much about the power of meditation today, but what really is it? Why does it matter? Christian meditation is incredibly effective in the life of a believer. Meditation, in fact, is mentioned more than 30 times throughout Scripture, 19 of which are mentioned in the book of Psalms alone. The short answer is Christian meditation is a powerful and focused form of prayer. It helps the faithful to become more aware of the revelations of God and to understand what He is expecting of us. Now, Scripture relates meditation to obedience. In the book of Joshua, the Lord says, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate it on day and night, so that you may be careful to do according according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have success Joshua 1 8 in other words meditation gives us wisdom it is for our overall success when we are successful spiritually we'll be successful in all areas of our life now while most other ideologies practice meditation for the primary intention of individual growth and strength, Christian meditation is performed and encouraged in order to deepen one's relationship with God first. In the end, what will have been more important than that? Here is the question. Here is the answer. Nothing. Nothing is more important. For the best and most effective experience meditating, listen for the voice of God. I recommend finding a quiet, humble, and peaceful place, somewhere you can sit comfortably and with an undisturbed and clear mind. Begin by offering up a small prayer of gratitude and praise to the Lord. When you read through these passages of meditation from the book of Psalms, Choose the ones that speak more intimately and directly to your soul. Roll the divine words around in your heart and mind so the directives uh, becomes clear. And ask this question, what are the verses saying to you personally? As you do this, listen for the Holy Spirit. Pay attention to where he leads your thoughts. Every meditative experience will be different, so try to keep your mind clear of the distractions and immerse yourself in this precious one-on-one time with God and surrender your will for His and abandon your heart to Him. Psalms 91, verse 14 through 16. Because He loves me, said the Lord, I will rescue Him. I will protect Him for He acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer Him. 
I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. For meditation, two questions. Reflect on why God is protecting you and what he will do for you. Psalms 139, verses 1 through 6. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise, and you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me up in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. For meditation, reflect on how intimately God knows you. Psalms 9, 9 and 10. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed and a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. For meditation, Who is God for those who know, trust, and seek Him? Psalms 1, verses 1 to 3. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on His law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. For meditation, who will be blessed? Who? Psalm 16, 7 and 8. I will praise the Lord who counsels me, even at night my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. For meditation, what must you do in order to be counseled and not shaken? Psalms 23, 1 through 4. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters and refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake, even though I walk through the darkest valley. I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. For meditation, with the Lord as your shepherd, what are you granted? Psalms 27, verse 1, 5, and 14. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. For meditation, who is the Lord to you? What will he do for you? And what must you do for him? Psalms 34, verses 17 and 18. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. For meditation, who does the Lord hear? Who is he close to? Psalms 30, verses 1 and 2. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord my God, I call to you for help, and you healed me. For meditation, what will the Lord do for you when you cry out for help, and what should you do in return? Psalms 51, 10 through 12. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. For meditation, how should you pray? What should you pray for? Psalms 119, verses 1 through 5. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. 
Blessed are those who keep his statures and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, but follow his ways. You, Lord, have laid down upon precipices that are to be fully obeyed. All that my ways were steadfast in obeying all your decrees. For meditation, according to this passage, who is blessed? Psalm 62, verses 1 through 2. Truly my soul finds rest in God, and my salvation comes from him alone. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, and I never, I will never be shaken. For meditation, who is the Lord to you, and what does that mean? And in closing of this uh, meditation is this closing uh, scripture from Psalms 19, 7 through 9. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precipices of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart, and the commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever, and the decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. This meditation was courtesy of Psalms91.com. A prayer from Silent Unity. I uphold the power of peace in all people, and I let there be peace in the world, and let it flow from within the hearts of all people. Let me hold peace as a precious jewel and a delicate treasure. Let me lead with kindness, compassion, and cooperation in keeping with the God of peace that is my source. You were just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on the other social media platforms of ours, which is TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, we'd like to invite you to check out our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place and leave personal messages, feedback, and more.